Since its launch in 2003, Porsche Carrera Cup Asia has grown fast and is now the region's number one racing series. With the rapid growth in the region's motorsport, Porsche China have created a new junior programme to find Asia's next young star, emulating the brand's European scheme, which launched the careers of Timo Bernard, Michael Christensen and Le Mans winner Earl Bamba. We were always looking for, let's say, for the, the Chinese hero, for the hero from our region. And this is why we want to support young fellows who are interested in, in racing, but so far really haven't made it. And uh, let's see what comes out of it. But again, Porsche is uh, fully committed uh, to find the next Chinese, hopefully, hero and uh, to follow in the footsteps of Earl Danberg. Porsche China have previously nurtured young talent, but reflecting a growing professionalism within the sport, the winner not only receives expert training, but funding for the whole 2016 Carrera Cup Asia season. I think it's a very professional program because the Porsche, they have a very good Le Mans team, they have a good series like the Porsche Carilla Cup. And when I entered the program, they try to make it very fair and very uh, comprehensive to see who is the best driver. Porsche has given me an amazing opportunity to, to live my dream to reach the pinnacle of motorsport, and that is Le Mans and WEC. And, you know, if all goes well this week, I'm hopefully able to take the first step in achieving that. Final evaluations took place at the Shanghai World Endurance Championship round, where nine finalists were put through exhaustive tests, including physical fitness, driving potential and media training. The plan is to assess us um, in our media skills, our physical state and our driving as well. So what I want out of it, well, I would love to be a Porsche works driver, you know, just like Earl Bamba or Mark Webber, that would be, that'd be amazing. So yeah, that's what I'm aiming for. On Monday we are going to do the fitness test and the interview. And on Tuesday the most exciting part we will drive the Porsche Rose car first and then we will drive the uh, Porsche Cup car. It's not only about the, uh, driving, it's also that we think that somebody hopefully fits a little bit to the Porsche personality and uh, our corporate culture. And so we're looking for somebody who is good to deal with, is, is really eager to learn. I'm just going to be myself. I have, I have trust in my preparation. So in fitness and driving, I'm just going to give my best and same thing for the media training also. So thanks for this. As well as all the training, there was also a chance to go behind the scenes. With a 1-2 finish at Shanghai, Porsche secured the World Endurance Championship, giving the youngsters a chance to see their motorsport programme working at the highest level. Well, we arrived Friday and for the, the weekend we've just been shadowing Porsche. Uh, we've been hanging out in the hospitality area and going through the garage, checking out what they do. For a while, you just can't believe it's real because you just see them walking by and on TV they look like just gods and now you, they, they seem slightly more human, but still superhuman for what they do on track. So absolutely starstruck. It's really special because you know, you're always seeing them on TV, you never actually expect to see them in real life. So when you see them, um, yeah, it's just such, a, such an amazing experience, yeah. From the youngsters just starting out, Andrew Tang was selected as the inaugural Porsche China Junior. For the 21-year-old from Singapore, being welcomed into the Porsche family could be the beginning of a dream career. Obviously, the dream, I think, for everyone is Formula One. You know, when you first start off, it's Formula One because uh, it's quite well known. But uh, the more you're in racing, the more you realise there are so many different important races as well, like Le Mans and and uh, WEC, so you know, to be a part of that and a race in Singapore, that'd be, that's the dream, yeah.